Hu Tao is a character with a very high skill ceiling. Though it may not seem like it, there are many things you can do to increase your damage by just playing her differently. I'll be covering every single thing I could think of to help you maximize your Hu Tao's damage. I'll first explain her simple mechanics before diving into the more advanced tips and tricks. Hu Tao's skit works around her skill, which increases Hu Tao's damage and infuses pyro with her weapon. So you only play her on field when her skill is still active and switch off of her when it's in CD. Basically dealing all damage during that time period with your burst, normal and charge attacks. Also when you're usually playing Hu Tao, you want to stay at low HP at all times because of her other passive which gives her pyro damage bonus if she's below 50% HP. Which some might find hard to play with as Hu Tao is constantly losing HP. But there are many things you can do to make it easier like by just using shields or having someone that can provide you with some healing. And even by just using Hu Tao's ult which heals herself depending on the amount of enemies you hit. When you activate your skill, try to only use charge attacks as they allow you to get the most amount of damage. Now that you know the basics of her kit, I'll now go into more detail for each part of her kit. So let's begin with her ult, which is the easiest part of her kit to learn. So when do you use your burst? Do you use it before your skill ends or at the beginning? It's best to use your burst right before your skill ends, and there are many reasons as to why you should do that. Firstly, as I said before, staying on HP for Hu Tao increases her damage, but if you use your burst, it will heal you and thus work against you. So it's better to use it at the end when you're done with dealing damage. Secondly, her burst animation is pretty long and if you were to use it at the beginning, it would use up a lot of your skill time, whereas if you were to use it at the end, right before it ends, your animation will play out after the skill has ended, but the damage will be the same as if it was casted during the skill, and kind of snapshots. So use it just before the skill ends, when the skill timer is at 7 seconds. But it's also fine if you're like about to die, then you can use your burst to quickly heal yourself and avoid that. But yeah, that's all there is to her burst. Next up is her second part of her kit, which is normal and charge stacking. There are many things you can do, like animation cancel, combos, and using different techniques at different times. There's a lot. I want to first cover animation cancelling. But what is animation cancelling? Basically, for example, when you charge stack, as you can see, it takes you very far and away from the enemy, which is not good. So what you can do is cancel that animation and stay in place either by dashing or by jumping. If you're C0, it's better to jump and if you're C1, it's better to dash. Uh, dashing is overall better but it consumes a lot of your stamina so you should avoid that if you're C0. I'll show you how to jump cancel. Uh, keep in mind I'm on very high ping which indeed makes it a little worse uh, but you can still do it fine. Basically as soon as you start charge attacking, jump so you can do it very very early as you can see here uh, of course you need to get a hang of it yourself but it gets easier the more you do it you can learn it better if you try to time it with the audio cue uh, it's like if you can hear the audio cue you've done your charge stack and you know you can then cancel it if you don't want to like maximize your damage then you can just do this just jump canceling you know your attacks it's the easiest thing to do for Hu Tao. like if you're maybe on mobile i think it's a lot harder or anything else if you're finding it difficult then you should stop right here uh, because as the video goes down you'll see how much harder it gets if you want to make sure you get the most amount of damage out of Hu Tao. but even just doing charge stack and you know jumping it's a lot better than you know just charge stacking so next up is dash cancelling which is not practical for c0 users but if you have c1 it's way faster and way better uh, just like jump cancelling, you dash just after you charge stack and then you dash opposite to your charge stack and then after dashing, you have to again face towards your enemy and repeat. You probably understood nothing of that, so let me show you uh, it again but in slow by doing one action at a time. So here's a sequence. So let's say the enemy was on my right here. What I will do is first I will dash towards them, right? So I will dash towards them and then look away. So left and then dash and then look towards the enemy again. Okay, now you have to do this, but really quickly. So let me first get my skill back. So let's say the enemy was on my right. That's how you would do it. And this is what it would look like with two normal attacks and charge attacks, which is of course the better way, but of course a bit more difficult. Round of stamina because I have C0, but yeah, it's really, really good if you can do it with, you know, uh, dash cancelling. There's still one problem though, and that's the dash cooldown. As you already probably know that when you, you know, dash two times, there's a cooldown before you can dash the third time. So you can't really dash three times in a row because of the cooldown. To avoid this, you have to either time your dash cancels or do another attack sequence, which is what's recommended. So let's talk about that attack sequence. So when you charge attack with Hu Tao, she first does one normal attack and then the charge attack. Uh, but it's better if you normal attack twice and then charge attack for the most amount of damage. 
Uh, this also saves up some of your stamina, but it is a bit hard to do. What I do is click two times very early and then hold for my charge attack. I'm not sure if it's because of my high ping, because I don't have to time my uh, charge attack with, you know, my second normal attack. But you may have to do that, so you'll have to learn the timings yourself for that. You can probably do all of this separately, but combining everything together, uh, first you have to normal attack twice, then charge attack, and then jump or dash. And before the skill ends, you have to ult. It all sounds easy, but it's really hard to pull off. Like, you have to check your HP, you also have to see uh, if the skill is about to end, then use your burst. It can get a really, really complex, and it will take you a lot of time to get used to, and uh, it, is it worth it? It definitely is, because it definitely increases the amount of charge attacks you can get in, and if you're at my investment level, where I have a Homa, and, you know, my Huta was really well built, then you're looking at about 200,000 more damage, because you can probably get in two charge attacks if you were to not, you know, do all of these things, and so that's basically 200,000 damage. Or even more, I guess, because of the normal attacks. Because each of my charge attack does close to 100,000 damage. So as you can see, doing this is is not just for like, you know, the speedrunners and stuff like that. It's for your usual who top players as well. You should try to, you know, get to learn these uh, combinations and do them yourself. Because it really does help you a lot and it makes you deal a lot more damage. There's one more thing I want to talk about. It's that you don't have to dash cancel your charge stacks every single time. Uh, for example, if there are multiple enemies lined up, it's better to go through them. Like with multiple enemies, it can get really hard to use Hu Tao. Like she's not like gone new. It's a lot harder with Hu Tao. So even though her burst is amazing, you can't really be bursting all the time. So using this method of charge stacking through multiple enemies without jump cancelling, it can be really useful. In the best floor, it's very rare to have all three enemy bosses. In that case, you're, you're, you're set, but usually some chambers will have multiple enemies. And for that, you need to know how to beat them. It's very, very helpful if you can just uh, charge stack through many, many enemies at the same time. And do a lot of damage to multiple enemies. Also, saving up your stamina on Hu Tao is really important. So characters like Diona, which reduce stamina consumption and also provide you with a shield, is a really good choice. And it makes it easier to play Hu Tao. Dodging in general with Hu Tao is very difficult, usually because you're trying to save up stamina, but you're also, you know, very low, so having a shield can really be beneficial. You can try to time your charge attack to dodge, but at the same time attack the enemy. Uh, and also, when you're like trying to get to an enemy, it's better to charge attack towards them than dashing because as you already know her charge attacks take her very far and it would also you know activate Sinchu's rain swords so when you're even traveling towards the enemy you're gonna deal more damage with Sinchu's rain swords and sometimes you may even end up hitting the enemy while you're moving there's one thing i want to talk about is using bennett or you know healers in your team in general like as you all know using a healer in your team with hu tao is a bad thing because again you need your Huta to be below 50% HP, but some people find it fine, especially for Bennett to be in your team, because the buff that Bennett gives, even though he's healing Huta and making it so Huta is above 50% HP, the buff is so good that even though it's working against Huta, it buffs Huta to deal more damage in the end. So people use this as a trade-off because now it's not that hard to, you know, play Huta because you have a really good healer in your team, which is Bennett. At the same time, you're getting a good buff for your other party members, I guess. So yeah, it's a kind of a trade-off and you can decide to have Bennett in your team or not have Bennett in your team. It depends on the characters you have. If you have Zhongli, I would prefer Zhongli. But yeah, there's a lot to Hu Tao. If you want to look up some teams on Hu Tao, I've already made a video on it. You can check it right now. So yeah, there's a lot more to Hu Tao's kit. I know it's going to take you a lot more time to get used to these mechanics for Hu Tao, but trust me, in, in the long run, it's going to be a lot useful for you. You're going to do a lot more damage. So yeah, I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!